let me move on to the next question. Uh, I have a feeling this is my, uh, yeah, follow the steps outlining the problem. If you run into difficulties carrying out the derivatives, feel free to use uh, mathematical world from alpha. And well, uh, you know, what it is, is it's, um, it's a tutorial question. I'm just uh, supposed to work through it, and so I'll do that. Um, so this is question number three. And yeah, that's the time-independent Schrodinger equation um, with the harmonic oscillator potential. That's right. And you know, one thing I'm going to tell you what I'll do is I'm always going to write this as h-bar uh, when I'm doing algebra by hand. I'll just uh, plug in the h over 2 pi at the end when I'm plugging in the answers. And this question does what I told you that I would uh, always do with uh, things like harmonic oscillator potentials. I'm going to tell you what the uh, solutions look like. I won't ask you to solve it yourself. Um, so this, uh, yeah, uh, these two wave functions uh, give you equation for the two lowest energies. Uh, this uh, is the ground state uh, with uh, the quantum number zero, n equals zero. And this is the, the first excited state with the quantum number n equals one. And um, yeah. Okay, and really, and what this is getting you to add is the result that is derived in the, uh, in the textbook. Uh, or I don't know if it's actually derived, it's given in the textbook that the energy levels of simple harmonic oscillator, let me make sure it looks like N, is given by um, N plus one half times H bar omega, where omega is the uh, expression occurring in the potential form for the wave function. Um, uh, for the Schrodinger equation or, or the natural oscillation frequency of the oscillator. So that's what's in the textbook. Now you can't just uh, plug this in. It's broken this way so that you have to go through the calculations. So let's go through that. Uh, so I'm doing this for the ground state. And what the question is asking me to calculate is minus, so this is for A, minus h bar squared over 2m times, okay, I need to do the two second or, or one second order derivative of the ground state, uh, a naught times exponential of minus m omega x squared over 2h bar. Oh, I can see that it's going to be a bit of a pain. The first order derivative is fine. You know, you do chain rule, so exponential of, so um, you do take the derivative of the inside, multiply by that, you are done. Now the problem is the derivative of the inside includes a factor of x because it becomes, you know, 2x. So the second derivative is going to make me use um, use product rule and then chain rule. It's going to, it looks like a lot of work. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is use um, computer algebra system. Uh, in the parts, that's going to be a, a lot of a hassle. So that um, so this is a hybrid approach of doing a lot of things by hand, but not everything by hand. I think I can combine all these coefficients in front and just call it alpha. So I'll declare the variables x and alpha. And to do the derivative, so I'm going to imagine factoring out a naught. It's not a function of x, so I can do that. And uh, for the derivative, I have to take the derivative of exponential of minus alpha times x squared um, with respect to x, second order. Yeah. And uh, let me also full simplify. Because I think after you do all the tedious calculations, some of the things actually do simplify and factor out. I just don't want to do it myself. Yeah, this is what I mean. This part actually factors out to the right or to the left. So I can kind of rewrite this again. That's uh, going to be part of my result. So let me just uh, write down all the terms here. I have minus h bar squared over 2m times a naught. Uh, I factor that out. 
Oh, actually, you know what? Let me not factor that out here. Um, I'm going to recombine A0 with the exponential. Uh, that will give me something uh, useful to do. And I need to write out all these coefficients that came out, including x squared. So it's going to be... Ooh, uh, let me just distribute the 2. So it's going to be 4 times alpha squared times x squared minus I distributed the 2, 2 times alpha. Yeah, and it doesn't simplify any more than that. Um, oh, and I have times a naught, and then this uh, e uh, exponential term that factored out. Um, exponential of minus, well, I could write it as a alpha, but let me just write it out as m omega over 2h bar x squared. This, I recognize it as the wave function psi naught. So um, that's actually written into part of the question. This is sign out on vector out to the right. So I'll leave that be. So um, yeah, so I just need to write this in here. Um, yeah, uh, there's really not much more I can do. Maybe I guess I can do one thing, which is um, I can, uh, I could distribute this in. But uh, let's see here. No, it's going to be a whole lot of a hassle. So I will just uh, write it out. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so minus uh, h bar, h over 2 pi squared divided by 2m times, and the rest I'll just write it out. 4 times alpha, so um, instead of alpha, it's, it ought to be, um, yeah, yeah, m times omega divided by uh, 2 times um, h over 2 pi. Um, this could be simplified a bit. I just choose not to because the whole thing is depressingly complicated squared <laughs> times x minus 2 times uh, what amounts to alpha m times omega divided by 2 times h bar or h over 2 pi um, the simplification takes place uh, after part p i think so yeah let me submit that make sure i have it right so far why not have it right? Um, let's see, h bar squared over 2m, 4 times. Um, oh, I forgot the x squared. x squared, all right. Um, now I should be correct. All right. Um, Ah, yeah, for sign out, uh, add the above kinetic energy term to the potential energy term. Um, simplify the resulting expression. Cancel out what cancels out to fill the blank below. Um, so, so the first term calculation we just did. So what we are adding to here in B, so we have this complicated thing, which is, um, let me call that, I don't know. B. Um, so in B, what we are calculating is this uh, whole complicated thing plus um, one half m omega squared x squared sine naught x. So I, I think it's going to be useful to just uh, distribute everything out and simplify. And let me just remember alpha is m omega over 2h bar. So well, let me just distribute everything out. When I do that, what you get is um, minus, uh, so h bar squared over 2m times 4 alpha squared. That's going to be m squared omega squared over uh, 4 h bar squared times x squared. That's the first term. Plus, um, Two and the, for the second term minus two cancels out, so I have h bar squared 
alpha over m or let me write out what alpha is alpha is uh, m omega over 2h bar and um, oh i almost forgot both of these have uh, the sine naught multiplied into them sine naught sine naught and so this is what we had from part a let me add the part from part b which is the potential energy term plus one half m omega squared x squared sine naught of x now watch this simplification this first term here force cancel out uh, one factor of m cancels out h bar squared cancels out so this entire expression here is minus one half m omega squared x squared which is the exact opposite of plus one half m omega squared x squared so this whole thing cancels out this whole thing so the only term that remains is this one it's quite remarkable how it simplifies and um and this actually simplifies a little more because m's cancel out one factor of h bar cancels out so you have h bar omega over two which i hope um remind you of uh, uh, this uh, formula that's in the textbook n equals zero you get h bar over over two that is the result you would expect and that is the result that you get when you go through the detailed calculation so h bar times omega divided by 2. That's it. And um, do I want to do psi 1? Yeah, I don't think I want to do... Uh, <laughs> I will just... Uh, you know what? Let me do psi 1. I, I don't think it's going to take that many more minutes. Um, so for part C... <laughs> What you do is basically the same. So comparing psi 0 with psi 1, I notice that the only difference between the two is this additional factor of x, at least so far. <laughs> um, I think a higher energy level ones are even more complicated, but first excited state, it's still relatively simple. So in terms of how I did it, I think it's fine because I can just uh, modify this. To say x times um, and then you know full simplify so when i do that so yeah i'm gonna have this uh, more complicated expression of alpha and x but i can deal with that actually you know i would factor out one factor of alpha so that i can put together a psi one again and um, when you have that then uh, yeah so you know let me just uh, plug this in uh, let me <laughs> so so for part c uh, i'm gonna copy down this result that double derivative of x times e to the minus alpha x squared gave me um let me see here i'm gonna distribute the two so it's going to be 4 alpha squared x squared minus 6 alpha times, I factored out an x, x times e to the minus alpha x squared. All right. So with that differentiation result in hand, I can do the rest of the calculation relatively easily. So I have minus h bar squared over 2m um, times this thing more or less um, i mean without the a there um, so um, but this whole thing is my psi one so um, this whole thing <laughs> when i do that uh, what it's going to end up being is um, minus Yeah, and I think there's a way to write down h bar fewer times. Uh, let me do that. So alpha, from memory, it's m omega over 2h bar. So I can actually write this as minus 1 over 2m 
Actually, let me just distribute the whole thing. I think that's going to look a lot simpler. So distributing minus h bar squared over 2n, I get um, minus h bar squared over 2n. Let me plug in the alpha as I go. 4m squared omega squared over 4h bar squared minus um, 6. Wait, was there really? Oh, all right. I guess 6m omega over 2h bar. Um, and then the red. Wait, wait. I, I said I would distribute and then didn't. Um, yeah, l let me actually do it this way. So it's fine. I haven't distributed it yet. And this whole thing multiplies to psi 1, I think. So far, so good. And uh, in the next line, I'm going to distribute. So for the first term, I have h bars canceling and fours canceling, one factor of n canceling. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I've seen this before. Minus one half m omega squared um, times psi one x. Um, so that's minus plus um, I have three m omega over h bar. One factor of h bar cancels, one factor of n cancels. So I have a plus three halves. Oh, h bar omega. Yeah, I think I might have anticipated that times psi one of x. All right, let me um, enter that in. So it should be minus uh, m times omega squared oops, over two plus. Um, three halves times h uh, h bar um, h over two pi times omega, and just for my sanity, let me just do a parenthesis here. I mean, I don't think it matters either way, but I want to. Did I forget something? Oh, oh, I forgot x squared. Yeah. Uh, there's the x squared there. I forgot to write it down here when I put it in. So there should have been x squared there. So, <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of tedious algebra. Um, all right. And uh, this time, actually, having done this simplification actually makes my next step pretty easy because the potential energy term cancels that out. So I'm just left with the second term that I can just almost copy and paste into this uh, input here. So yeah, this is a kind of practice through, um, it, you know, the calculation step by step, they're not hard because especially here, all you are doing is the derivatives. I could have even done this by hand. It's just that it gets tedious and um, you see how forgetting a small term like this um, leads to <laughs> incorrect answer. So this is where attention to detail really matters. So, so with that, uh, let me just uh, continue on. Um, that was my question three.